Let us now look at the last model from time and work which is based on pipes and systems or pipes and tanks. This model on pipes and tanks is completely similar to what we have discussed in time and work. Here we have got a water tank with different pipes which are used to either fill the tank or to empty the water from the tank. And we need to find out the total time required when different combinations of pipes are working together. Let us look at the model here. We have got two different cases. Let us first understand the case one. As you can see here, we have got a water tank with two pipes, pipe A and pipe B. Both the pipes here are inlet pipes. That means both these pipes are used to fill the water in the tank. Now when pipe A is running alone and pipe B is closed, the tank can be filled in A hours. And when pipe B is running alone and pipe A is closed, the same tank or the same system can be filled in B hours. So we are supposed to find out how much time will be required when both the pipes are running simultaneously. Now if you try to observe here, this is completely analogous to what we have discussed in case of time and work. There we have different persons working together and here we have different combinations of pipes working together. For some time let us assume that pipe A is nothing but a person who can finish the work in A hours and pipe B is another person B who can finish the same work in B hours. Now as we have discussed earlier whenever two persons are working together we can go by the unitary method that is the work done by each of the persons in one day or we can apply the direct formula which is AB by A plus B. So here again we have two pipes which are working together and their work is to fill the tank. So we can say that the work done by pipe A in 1 hour will be 1 by A and the work done by pipe B in 1 hour will be 1 by B. Since both the pipes are working together and they are filling the tank, we can say that in each hour the total work done will be 1 by A plus 1 by B. So this is nothing but the total work done by both the pipes in 1 hour. Once we get the total work done by both the pipes together in 1 hour, we can take the inverse of this to get the total number of hours required to fill this tank. So this is nothing but time and work in a different way. Here we have pipes working together instead of persons working together. But one special case that we have here is case number 2. Now as you can see here we have a water tank which has got two pipes, pipe A and pipe B. But the difference here is in the previous case both the pipes were inlet pipes. But in this case pipe A is an inlet pipe which is used to fill the tank but pipe B is an outlet pipe. That means this pipe is used to remove the water from the tank. When pipe A works alone it can fill the tank in A hours. But when pipe B works alone and pipe A is closed the same tank can be emptied here in B hours. So we need to find out the time required to fill this tank when both the pipes are working together. Now here if you observe our job is to fill the tank and pipe A is used to fill the tank. So we can say that pipe A is doing the correct work but pipe B is removing the water from the tank which is against what is required. We have to fill the tank here. So we can understand that pipe B is doing the wrong work or the opposite work. So in one way we can say that A is doing positive work and B is doing negative work here. So to find out the total time Again we need to go by the one day's work concept but with a slight difference. The difference here would be the work done by pipe A is 1 by A as in the earlier case and that by pipe B in 1 hour will be 1 by B. But we need to take a negative sign in between them. Why? Because B is doing negative work. So we should take minus 1 by B. So 1 by A minus 1 by B is the total work that is done by both the pipes together in 1 hour. And once we get this value, we can take the inverse of this to find out the total time required to fill the tank. So this is the only special case and different case that we have when compared to time and work. Otherwise, all the questions from this model of pipes and systems can be solved simply by applying the concepts that we have discussed in time and work. So there we have learned one concept called men into days or men into hours. Here we can apply the same concept as pipes into the hours or pipes into time and all the remaining concepts are applicable here. Let us now look at the first example from pipes and systems. The question here is pipes A and B can fill a system in 10 and 12 hours respectively and pipe C can empty it in 6 hours. So if all the three pipes are open simultaneously then how much time will be required for the tank to be full. 
So as you can see here, we have got three pipes where pipe A and pipe B can fill the tank in 10 and 12 hours and pipe C can empty the same tank in 6 hours and we are supposed to find out the total time required when all the three pipes are running together. Now as discussed earlier, whenever a pipe is used to empty the tank, we should consider it to be doing the negative work. So here, going by the unitary method or the work done by each of the pipes in one hour, we can say that the work done by pipe A in one hour will be 1 by 10 plus the work done by pipe B in one hour will be 1 by 12 minus the work done by pipe C in one hour will be 1 by 6. Remember, we are taking a negative sign here because pipe C is used to remove the water from the tank and hence it is doing opposite work. So we take it as negative work. So the total of these values will give us the total work done by all the three pipes together in one hour. So by simplifying this, we can say that the LCM is 60 and 10 is 6 times, 12 goes 5 times and 6 goes 10 times. So 6 plus 5, 11 minus 10 is 1 by 60. So very clearly, when all the three pipes are running together, 1 by 60th of the work is done in each hour. So we can say that the total time required will be reciprocal of this. That is nothing but 60 hours. So friends, as you observe, this is quite similar to what we have discussed in time and work. The only difference is there we have different persons doing the work and here we have various pipes which are used to either fill the tank or empty the given tank. Let us now take another example from pipes and systems where we shall use the concept of work in terms of men into days or here we can say that the work can be measured as pipes into time. Now the question here is a water tub can be filled by two taps in eight minutes. One tap is closed after three minutes. The other tap fills the remaining tub in 15 minutes. How much time the faster tap will take to fill the tub alone? So here as you can see, we have got two taps which can fill a water tub in 8 minutes. Let us assume that the two taps are A and B and the time taken by them is A and B respectively. So one tap is closed after 3 minutes, the other tap fills the remaining tub in 15 minutes. So very clearly, for the first 3 minutes, both the taps were running together and after 3 minutes, one of the taps is closed and then the other tap fills the remaining tub in 15 minutes. Let us now try to use the concept of work equals to many into days or in this case work equals to the pipe into the time to solve this question. So here we can say that work can always be measured or work done can be taken as the pipe, the particular pipe into the time for which it was open. Now as the water tub can be filled by two taps A and B in 8 minutes we can say that the total work is a plus B into 8 that is nothing but both the pipes are working together for 8 minutes to fill the water tub. So total work is A plus B into 8. Now this should be equal to as given in the question one tap is closed after 3 minutes. So very clearly for the first 3 minutes both the taps were working together. So for first 3 minutes we can say that the work done is A plus B into 3 since both the taps were working for first 3 minutes. So this is the amount of work done in first 3 minutes and after that one of the taps is closed. Let us assume tap A is closed or we can also assume that tap B is closed but let us go by tap A is closed. So when tap A is closed the other tap that is nothing but tap B here can fill the remaining tub in 15 minutes. So the remaining work was done by pipe B alone or tap B alone in 15 minutes. So this is the work equation that is nothing but in terms of pipes into time. Now by simplifying this, we can get the relationship between the two tabs. So by taking A plus B into 3 on the other side, we get A plus B into 8 minus 3 is 5 and that should be equal to B into 15. So 5 into 1 and 5 into 3 is 15. So from this we can say that A plus B equals to 3B or we can say A is equals to 2B. That means the tab A is twice the tab B. Now as already discussed, this is nothing but the relationship between the capacities of the two tabs. That means the capacity or the efficiency of tab A is twice the efficiency of tab B. That means tab A is the faster tab here which takes less time and tab B is the slower tab because tab A can work twice as fast as tab B. It is obvious that it is the faster tab and it takes less time. So this is the capacity equation of the two types, capacity or efficiency equation. 
Now from this very clearly if tab A is twice as fast as tab B the time taken by tab A should be half of the time taken by tab B. So we can say that time taken by A should be half of time taken by B because capacity and time is always reciprocal to each other. So because the capacity is twice time should be half of tab B. Now we need to find out how much time the faster tap will take to fill the tub alone. The first statement here is the water tub can be filled by both the taps in 8 minutes. That means the equation will be 1 by time taken by tap A plus 1 by time taken by tap B should be equals to 1 by A. That is nothing but the work done by each of the taps in 1 minute. The given question says how much time the faster tap will take. Very clearly the faster tap is tap A. So we need to find out the time taken by tab A will be equal to what? So to find out the time taken by tab A, let us substitute the time taken by tab B in terms of tab A. So we can say that time taken by B will be equal to twice the time taken by tab A. So by using these two equations, we can find out the required answer. So I can say that 1 by time taken by A plus 1 by time taken by B is nothing but twice the time taken by A, which is equals to 1 by 8. So from this we can say that the LCM is 2 times the time taken by tab A. So 2 plus 1 equals to 1 by 8. 2 goes 4 times and hence time taken by tab A will be 2 plus 1, 3 into 4, 12 minutes. So friends, as you can see from these two examples, the questions from pipes and tanks can also be solved simply by using the concepts that we have discussed in case of time and work. That's all from time and work. See you in the next session. Thank you.